Welcome to EA Sports live coverage of League Two. It's a West Country derby. Neither side will give an inch as Exeter play Plymouth Argyle. We're heading for South West England and Exeter. Your commentary team is Martin Tyler and Alan Smith. Hi everybody, Martin Tyler here with you. Alan Smith has joined me at League Two football for you today. Yeah, delighted to be here, Martin. Looking forward to it. side this is how the visitors shape up oh, back in front of their own supporters today Martin second day of the campaign and um, I think we are looking at a mid-table side here we don't like to say that so early in the season, but uh, I don't see them finishing any higher than that. Up against a team that uh, is pretty strong, and without doubt they should be finishing in one of those automatic promotion spots. But uh, away from home here, it's not going to be easy. for this game is Ian Lowcroft. Here's the kickoff and the game is underway. Out of danger there with that clearance. Harvey. Too high. Way over the crossbar. Well, it's great if it hits the back of the net and you're wheeling around his celebration, but now he's just looking at a goal kick. Yeah, I mean, I think the fans are giving him some stick, but, you know, he has scored from those distances. by the opponent not going to go for that yellow card here just a free kick to the goalkeeper's grasp, the free kick. A chance for back-to-back -back wins for the new manager, having been successful in his second game in charge. Here's game number three, and beginning to take... He's gone for goal, and we've got a goal. That's the first one, and I think there'll be a few more to come. He's not hit it with power, has he? But he's certainly hit it with accuracy. It's a goal worth looking at again, isn't it? It's 1-0. Cummins. Oh, 
great hands. Possession in the midfield area. Goal news from Cheltenham. It's a goal for Portsmouth. 18 minutes played, 1-0. Cheers, Alan. Noble. Cummins. to hit the target. <laughs> goal news from Burton. It's a goal for Burton Albion. He's pointed for the free kick. Ribeiro. Noble. Reed. Still going, still striving to attack. Sometimes, as, as admirable as it is, you just think, well, maybe save your energy a bit more for attacking rather than closing down. Then strongly. Tussle for the ball. And the referee Ian Lowcroft has got to step in now for the moment. Well, the ref's given a foul here, and it's a bad one. Yellow. Yeah, no surprise there at all. Well, that's risky going in like that. Yeah, I think so. And it was a poor tackle, it was badly timed. on the ball. No ball. Morgan. And in goes the cross. to throw taken quickly made the challenge well Ribeiro it's a chance for the wide man to make some progress here when you need a defender to show his class and he's done just that Harvey and the shot's off a goal he won't have scored too many better than that he certainly won't have hit too many harder than he did there a good look here Again, by the replay of the goal. Well, that has made it 2-0. Cummins. And this will be indicated to crowd. Five minutes it is. Well, there's still plenty of time for significant action to come.
good tackle. And there goes the whistle for half time. And the scoreline is 2 0. Well, what we've got here is a difficult situation for the home manager. The away team, probably the better side, and they now lead with that goal just before the interval by two. Well, it's no fluke, Martin, that they're two goals up. I think they've been better in most departments, so if that continues, I can see only one winner. So we reach half-time with a score 2-0. Let's take a look back at the highlights from that first half, and then we'll be straight back to your commentary team for the rest of the match. And he's put it away beautifully. And it's in the net for the goal. 